Did you know that anime fans are incapable of approaching a woman over the age of 18? It is unknown why this is, but one of the prevailing theories is that anime fans are misogynistic. Therefore, I have assembled a list of five stellar anime for that particular group of kings. Number 5, Tomodachi Game. Tomodachi Game instills wonderful core values into its viewers. Since everyone I knew who watched Tomodachi Game ended up beating up a woman in some unsuspecting way. And I don't blame them. Tomodachi Game reminds us that women are often very weak and annoying. And if these words that I just said inspired you at all, you are definitely the demographic to watch it. Number 4, The Rising of the Shield Hero. The protagonist, Naofumi, has zero empathy towards the female gender and does really inspiring stuff, such as purchasing female child slaves and grooming them. This elucidates the concept that being a slave owner is not bad, nor is grooming, especially if the victim is a furry. Number 3, Redo of Healer. Considering the graphic nature of this show, I'm not going to show any clips from it. Instead, look at a kitchen. The place in which women dwell. Redo of Healer is essentially a show about a god complex guy getting revenge on everyone who wronged him in his rise to power. In this process, he mind controls and rapes tons of women, which if we're being honest, is all you really need to know to start watching it. Number 2. Fate Stay Night The Legend of King Arthur was rather epic. The only thing it missed was Arthur himself actually being a hot anime babe. Combine that with the mind control sex concepts that we discussed with the last entry, and you have yourself a modern piece of timeless cinema. Number 1. Akagi If you really hate women, then I recommend Akagi. There are zero female characters in Akagi. Does this make it the best anime ever made? Um, yeah. If you have a problem with my list, I am genuinely sorry that you are so painfully unintelligent. Noko out.